Hey everybody, I am Ranger Liz and welcome to the Toku Week in Review. We've got a bunch of stuff. We have scans from Lumen Ranger vs. Patch Ranger, Build, and Ultraman. Some awesome stuff coming around with it. So let's get into all of our beautiful Toku news with Kamen Rider Build. Kamen Rider Build, if you want to just go old school on it at this point, I guess, uh, figureized standard uh, actual information has been released for. We talked about it uh, I don't know, a month or so ago, but it is going to be 3200 yen and it's going to be released in July if you'd like to get your hands on that. If you want your Kamen Rider build to have 14,000 more forms, these scans are going to be for you. We've got Kamen Rider Mad Rogue. He's going to be entering the fray, I'd say he or she, but it's going to be a he by using the bat and engine full bottles. Uh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be the evil driver with the nebula steam gun and steam blade. Steam gun, steam blade. It's a little steampunky. Uh, no idea who the identity of the figure is yet, but hey, look, there's another suit. The new villain common writer, Evil, Evil, is going to be over. He's got the driver, he's got the bottles, and with this, we're going to see, with this driver, we're going to see a ton of awesome things between him and, and Sento. Look at it. Okay, we're getting Evil Cobra form, Evil Rabbit form, Evil Dragon form, and then whenever he gets the hazard trigger back out, we're going to have common writer build key dragon hazard. It's a lot of words. A lot of words and a lot of scans. Go give some love to the people down below and you will find more information about them as well as, you know, warm and fuzzies because they are the ones who translated everything. This guy can't seem to stop popping out of continue tube, so they might as well give him his own figure arts figure. Dan Kuroto might. It's not confirmed. It's kind of a teaser image, but he's coming out of that continue pipe and it looks kind of awesome. Go uh, if you want to see it in its full glory. I can't Never Akiva, never Akiva. Other writers, though, for you people not in Japan, uh, Amazon writers, or common writer, Amazons, on Amazon, the show that was on about two years ago or so, it was on Amazon Prime, but it was only available in Japan. Guess what? If you have Amazon Prime, you can now watch it in America with subs, an official common writer made for Amazon Prime sent to you. That is really awesome. And Amazon's has always been on my queue, but I just still never gotten to it. But maybe, maybe now that it's on Prime, it'll get bumped up the queue a little bit for me. Moving on out of Rider to Rangers, or Sentai, if you will, Lupin Ranger versus Path Ranger also got their catalog scans out, and Lupin Rangers gonna have a little competition this time because the Path Rangers are getting their due. They're gonna get new trigger machines crane and drill. I like they're gonna use drill to like just go through walls which is gonna be pretty cool. They're all gonna combine and it's going to be making Pat Kaiser strong. Uh, you got Blade and Dial so sorry Lupin Rangers. Lupin X was also highlighted a little bit on this one. Next month guys, next month uh, is going to be f joining the fight against the Gangler so we will see where this story goes and who's gonna get in. They're gonna be switching and it's it's gonna be fun! I think it's gonna be fun. Also, the butler dude, uh, he's being shifty, he's always being shifty, but once they're all gathered, something's probably gonna happen because that's... Gather all the lock seeds, gather all the icons, gather... It's the thing, it's what you do, you gather them up, something's gonna happen. He's probably the only one that knows. We will find out soon. Swapping to an older Sentai GoGo 5 is now out from Shout Factory. Check out the links below if you would like to get your hands on it. Officially licensed, fully subbed, right to your door. Thanks so much, Shout Factory. And don't forget, uh, Time Ranger is also available up for pre-order at this time. So when you're picking up one, just get the other one and then, you know, you, you won't be behind. Moving on to Ultraman, which gets its own thing, it's apparently, this week. Subaraya announced that an international Ultraman rights victory. Basically, these Ultramen were being tied up. Uh, there were six series that were caught up in licensing issues, if you will. I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of them, but basically it's back to the proper people now, and they will probably push forward with, if you've been noticing, these Ultraman maybe coming to America, starting to spread out a little bit more. You've been seeing, ah, we're getting releases of it. Yeah, it, 
I think they're really going to try to start pushing Ultraman more, and this could be another big thing to getting some of the past series to us here. Check out the links below if you want to hear the longer and the way more technical or just smarter version of what I just said. Fans of Geed will like that the movie is going to be getting an official release, and that will be coming out on July 27th with DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know if there's any pre-order information up yet, but check the link. Uh, I'll take you to Tokusatsu Network, and they will get you taken care of. Also, Ultraman Taro, 45th Anniversary Music Collection. It's going to be like three different sets, which is kind of cool. It's going to be like original, like what they wanted it to sound like or whatever, and then there's even going to be like karaoke. It's, it's going to be a big set if you're a fan of that series of music. Go check out links, but because now we're, we're at Rube. Now we're at Rube. I went over the scans on Monday if you would like to see the full first set of scans and my uh, thoughts, reactions to all of them, including more information. But, but, they're brothers. We went over this before. It's going to be 25 episodes. 25 episodes is going to be Ultraman Rube. It's going to be July 7th. So, 7-7, seven, seven, 25 episodes. We're going to be getting this brand new Ultraman. We have the actors that are going to be playing Rosso and Blue. After seeing, there is a teaser trailer, by the way. Uh, it, it just simply shows kind of the suits. They look great. It got me really hyped, and I hope it gets you really hyped as well. But it does say BLU, so that is what I'm going with from now on. I've been seeing people saying Bull. The Ted Rosso, it said Blue, so I'm going to go with Blue. If you would like to see more hide it, uh, just gorgeous pictures and the teaser trailer. Check out the links below. Uh, with the, we did find a little bit of information though, so I'm gonna give that to you. Uh, they're still living with their younger sister and father who runs a specialty store. In addition, the story for the series is based on Bond or Love, in which the brothers face emotions with allies and enemies, realizing important things they tend to take for granted. Uh, thanks so much. That one was from Yukia Seed. Uh, I've gotten stuff from Toku Nation as well. and bunch of other places. Don't forget to give all those links love. In wrapping up Toku stuff, Garo is going to be getting a Blu-ray release, and that's going to be Makai Senku is going to be coming out on Blu-ray August 7th, 2018. Woo! That was some fun. That was some Tokusatsu news. We got, I mean, Lupin Ranger vs. Patch Ranger is awesome. Build is is being and, and I'm still I'm still behind on both shows and I love them so much. I'm getting hyped up for the new Ultraman that's coming out, guys. Toku's Toku's taking over everything. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. Getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, guys. So if you would hit that subscribe button, it would make me super super happy, and I would appreciate it. My name is Rangel Liz. Have a fan freaking fantastic weekend, Toku Nation, and I will see you at the next video.